ago, there was a woman. She has a well in a courtyard. Noble woman, receptive, accommodating. Oh, that I will be well positioned to do what God wants me to do. Our brother is here to give us a background story. There was a rebellion. Absalom lifted his heel against David's father. And David had to escape for his dear life. And Absalom came to Jerusalem and um, it was a bad day for David because Absalom was his own very son and he would have killed David if David did not escape very quickly. Why David was going, Abiata and Zadok the priest, they decided to follow David with the Ark of Covenant. But David said, no, 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 no. The ark belonged to Israel, not to David. Take the ark back. Uh, I, even though I need the ark, but it belongs to the entire nation of Israel. Let me not personalize the ark. And so Zadok, Abiata, they were in town. And David, very, very wise man, um, also told Husha, Why don't you stay in the palace? And monitor what's going on in the palace. Ushai was David's friend, personal friend. And so Ushai went back to the palace. When Absalom saw him, he was surprised. Ah, have to go with your friend. He said, Look, you are the king. My loyalty is to the throne, not to the person who sits on the throne. I am here for you. So they sat down, and it was time to give counsel. Ahitophel was the counselor of David and the Bible remarks that when Ahitophel speaks it is like God has spoken. You can't fault his counsel. He was extremely wise and the counsel he brought that day will have brought David down actually. He counseled that they should go and attack David if David will be tired and it was a good counsel. But because David had planted Hushai in the palace, Hushai said, excuse me, can I also say something? And Absalom said, why not? The council. Hushai won and said, you know your warrior. If you go and meet him now, you will meet a wounded lion. He will be charged. Why don't we gather all Israel? And then move en masse anywhere he is. He will just come upon him like the dew comes upon the ground. And will overwhelm him and we are going to destroy him. But David being a military man had planted Ahimas and Jonathan at Enroge. Ushai went to Abiata and told him and Zadok, this is the council of Ahitophel. This is my counsel. But I don't know which one the king will take out of the two. If Absalom take the counsel of Ahitophel, David will be in trouble. So my advice is that you send a message to David that David should not stay in the plain. He should cross Jordan tonight and move into the mountain so that he will be in safety. Now Abiata and Zadok got a small girl King James called her a wench, a servant, a female servant, and sent that girl to Enroge, where Jonathan and Ahimas were hiding. And then the girl came and told them what message came from the priest unto David. Unfortunately for them, there was a small boy who saw them. And because they were popular people, they knew there would be trouble once that boy saw them. And the boy went to go and tell Absalom that he saw Jonathan and Ahimas, the spies of David. And you know Jonathan, Absalom dispatched his soldiers 
to go. A well and a courtyard, though private, yet open, not locked. Oh, that I will be well positioned to do what God wants me to do. Thank you very much, Brother Sheikh Mario. What counsel do you have for us, considering this well in the courtyard? Yes, private well is your privacy. They have intruded into our privacy without any announcement. But she was not going to chase them out. She was very accommodating. She went as far as protecting them. Very smart woman. Intelligent. Bold. Daring. Such that is willing to take risk for the Lord. Those brothers, they had a message that would preserve the life of the king. The message must reach the king. The woman saw herself positioned without weapon, but she knew that she was one of the soldiers of the Lord, a worker for his kingdom. There are people who are in trouble, deep trouble. And their trouble could bring trouble to your life. If, if Absalom should catch this woman, those young men would die, the woman will die, her husband will die, her children will die. It was a risk. Yet she was she was going to take it for the Lord. I know that that boy is bad, but why can't he have a place in your home and let his trouble be your trouble for the sake of the kingdom? The trouble of that person can strengthen your knee at the place of prayer. Why don't you allow? It? And give the person a covering under your roof. Lord told the people of Sodom, don't do so. That's why they have come under my roof. Now, why won't you protect people that God brings to you and give them a shield so that they can fulfill their mission in life? Why can't you provide a covering for a weary soul? She didn't say, David never gave me any contract or since he was the king. Of. He didn't even know I'm here. What's my concern? I better carry your trouble, come, come out here. No, no, no. She gave them a safe haven. She gave them a place in her home. Those soldiers came and naturally because they were psychologists too, they should have known that those men were there. You could see how she spoke. There was no panic in her voice. He said, I saw them, but they have gone over the book of Ahimas and Jonathan were hearing her. We have entered into the right house. Private well uncovered to bring covering for our lives and covering for David and covering for the plan of God over David's life. The woman must have held a vigil for them. She must have watched until she saw that the soldiers of Absalom had completely departed and it was safe for them to come out. She opened the well says servants of God can you come and he will have lend them a helping hand 
and pull them out one after the other can i tell you you know it's beautiful that these people became priests eventually they did great work for the lord eventually because a woman was willing to to just be a worker unpaid unrecognized and yet advancing god's kingdom will you also stretch forth a hand of love to somebody in this place and help it may not you may not need one million to do that you may not need twenty thousand to do that it could just be a word of counsel that will provide a covering and a lifting for your soul and god will have advanced his kingdom through it the fact that it's a private well does not mean we should privatize it permit that in english and personalize it the fact that it's a private well is not the reason for us to put it under lock and key there are people on their journey and they are confused i wish god will open your eyes to see them and bring them in and help them down and up and then they can go to where god wants them to go